Okay. Indeed, I know the jury is still out because uh, the numbers were mixed. The big positive was the total income growth, which came in at 11.5% versus our expectations of 10.5%. So that's a positive. Another thing was volume-led growth at 7%, price-led growth at 4, 4.5% was again in line with our expectations. But the miss came on account of margins, on account of uh, higher raw material costs, which were higher than anticipated. So uh, the EBITDA margins at 13.8% were below our estimates, primarily because the gross margins declined by almost 200 basis points. And because of which the net profit it was up just about 5.8%, a tad bit below our estimates. But that said, 7% volume growth coming on a 12% uh, base is a positive the trend should show. And we spoke to the management yesterday as well, and they said they saw sub double digit volume growth in their core business, which is the ba uh, bakery, rask, as well as biscuits, which is a positive. The volume decline came in primarily on account of the bread business, and they expect a raw material cost uh, to in inflation to be in double digit versus 9%, which again, remember, was revised from 5%. So that is a key monitor. In terms of stock performance, if I was to correlate to the products, instead of a good day, expect a 50-50 on that stock today. Mm -hmm. Okay, Actually. that's very well put. Uh, but the devil, as they say, is in the details. So gross margin compression is something that uh, the street I is going to take. I think the market would have definitely. noticed that. I mean, Varun Berry was on our channel saying that uh, yeah. sometime back that he's expecting 10% uh, inflation in raw materials, and everyone knows that sugar and milk prices have risen. Yes. I don't think the markets uh, will factor it in. Will double discount it uh, starting exactly. today. Exactly, and I think you know, keep in mind. Uh, you know, ever since Barun Berry has come on board, Britannia has been in a bull market, uh, in a roaring bull market, Absolutely. and the market would rather give benefit of doubt uh, uh, to, to the management. You know, and look at the positives more than the negatives. Absolutely, Hindustan Unilever.